So now we added the SVG icon to our Flutter project. Now it's time to make this all the custom card dynamically. Right now I added two instances of the custom card in the chat page, but I wanted to make this thing more dynamically. I wanted to make this icon change more dynamically. For that, I'm going to create a list. And what will be the list? For the list, I'm going to generate some kind of data. And uh, for that, let me create a new folder inside the leaf folder. That will be a model. And the first model of this will be chat model dot dot. Inside the chat model dot dot, I'm going to create a class chat model. And here we are going to define some of the parameter we are going to use here. The first parameter will be a string type, which will be a name. Second parameter will be a string type, which will be a icon, which kind of icon we have to use like group icon or the individual person icon. Then a bool parameter each group which means it is a group chat or it is an individual chat then a string of time after then a string of current message these are the parameters we had to use over here then i'm just going to use the constructor to initialize all these things this dot name this dot icon this dot is group this dot time and this dot current message all the things are in slides as of now then I'm going to create a list of this chat model inside the chat page here. So list of chat model chats. Here I have to provide the, all the instances. So let me create five instances. So to create an instance, we have to use the same chat model object and here we have to provide all the parameter. Name, obviously first name will be Davistack. Then is group? No, it's not a group. So it's mean a false. Then uh, current message. Hi everyone. Time maybe four. And the last one is the icon. So let me provide the path of the icon, which will be a person dot SVG. Now we added our first element on the list let me create a second element on the list instead of the name i'm going to use some of the my subscriber who are supporting me like kishore his group is false hi kishore this will be a 10 all the thing will be the same then uh, collins his group is false. Hi everyone. Instead of hi Davistack and will be 10 person dot SVG. Let me put a uh, another chat model. Dev server chat. That is a random noun. And hi everyone on this group. It will be a group text. It 
will be a 10 instead of the person dot svg i am going to use the group dot svg one two three four and last one will be again a group and to make a group we have to say t true and the last one will be balram which is my name is friends his group will be true hi buddy 10 and it will be a group dot svg so we had used this chat list inside the list view and now we are not going to use the list view we are going to use the list view dot builder now we have multiple custom card so i'm going to use the list view dot builder here item count will be chats dot length and item builder we have to provide the build context context and we have to return a custom card all the context index and I'm going to return the custom card and I'm going to return the chats index over here and to make it first I had to go inside the custom card here let me create a final chat model if you watch my all other video where we use the model classes then it is very understandable and uh, here I had to use the this dot oh I just forgot the name of the variable chat model we had to use the this dot chat model and it's saying that all the variable must be in slice but chat model try adding slice for the field okay instead of here i'm just going to use it over here only and i'm going to hit the save i'm going to go here and i'm going to hit the save it's giving the error because 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 let me fix the error i had to use the chat model then only we had to give it okay now we added successfully now we add we got the five element one two three four five but all are static as of now but how we can make it dynamic we are getting all the data inside the chat model so let's get the chat model data with help of this chat model instance let me first change the name instead of the dev stack i'm going to use the chat model sorry i'm going to use the chat model dot name i if i will leave the save then all the name will be changed over here you can see dev stack kiso dev stack server chat collins balram's friend all the thing are changed now the second thing we have to change instead of the had a stack i am going to use the chat model dot current message instead of this takes i am going to use the chat model dot time all the thing will be changed you can see now we have to work on this icon part let me go here here i am going to use the ternary operator i am going to use the is group not here I'm going to use the chat model dot is group. If the chat model dot is group is true, which means we have to return the group dot svg. Otherwise, we have to use the
person.svg. I'm going to hit the save and let's see the changes. You can see that the dev stack have the person icon, Kisur have the person icon and the dev server chat have the group icon. So all are the thing now dynamic and here we can replace this two name with this model name. But as of now I am not replacing it because we don't need it right now. But in the future if we need it then we will replace it. So all of the things are working perfectly. Just one thing we have to add that on the tab we have to go on an individual page. Like if I will click on a dev stack then I have to go on a individual chat page. If I will click on a dev server chat then I have to go on a individual group page. So for that I have to create a new file. So inside the pages or inside the screen I'm just going to create a new file that will be a individual page dot dot file. Inside the individual dot page dot dot file I will first import the material dot dot package and I'm going to create a state full widget and inside the stateful widget the name will be individual page and instead of returning a container I am going to return a scaffold okay and I will going to hit the save inside the custom card inside the on tab what I will do that I will use the navigator dot push and I will gonna provide the material page route and inside the builder context then individual page now hit the save all the thing we added here and if I will click on a dev stack, then we will go on a new page, which is an individual page. And here we don't have anything because I'm returning a empty scaffold. We have to work on this individual page on the next video. Till that, thank you all. Happy coding. Share the video to your friend. Like the video and also subscribe this channel to motivate me.